the hair cells, which are the basis for the senses of the vertebrate ear, evolved in primitive chordates. The fish then elaborated these hair cells forming neuromass, or collections of them, which functioned in a lateral line system. In the head, part of the lateral line system was modified to form a vestibular region, which became increasingly important in navigation and steering as vertebrates evolved pectoral and pelvic fins, which allowed more complex movements. This vestibular region in fish today does participate in sound recognition, and it seems that the lateral line system, the more primitive uh, system, can also perceive sound. The vestibular region, which would develop both semicircular canals for balance and sections of the vestibule to measure the pull of gravity and acceleration, would become more complex over time. Hagfish possess only one semicircular canal. Lampreys possess two, and all of the jawed vertebrates possess three. In primitive jawed vertebrates, like sharks, the vestibular system is still open to the outside world in that the movement of water can then enter pores, which then affects the vestibular system. In the bony vertebrates, the osteichthyans, this vestibular system is completely enclosed and is no longer receiving input from uh, the outside world, such as water currents. As this vestibular region became more important, it became better housed. And so uh, when you consider the developing skull, a uh, cartilage enclosed uh, the sections of the ear and the otic capsule of sharks is a prominent area which would be converted to bone in the osteichthyans and house uh, the portions of the inner ear. There are great variations known in the ear regions of fish. For example, catfish are among the fish in which the swim bladder can communicate with the ear region and help perceive sound with the help of a series of small bones known as the Weberian apparatus. But just as then catfish vary from most uh, fish in possessing these structures, there are great variations among catfish, as one gets just from looking at uh, the diversity of catfish brains. Uh, the swim bladder may be reduced or absent, as these Weberian bones uh, may be modified, uh, reduced, or absent in diverse catfish. The hair cells of neuromass are certainly versatile. And in most fish, some have been modified to be able to respond to weak electric fields, and so are electroreceptors. Some fish have then expanded on this ability to uh, perceive and then even manipulate electrical fields.